ladies and gentlemen. Start your engine. No, that's uh, that's the wrong one. We are playing. Uh, ah, yes, die, die, die. Now we're doing Reaper today. Well, this should be easy. Reaper is the fucking man. Uh, actually, we we don't know what he is. He is he is a he, presumably, uh, some sort of angel, some sort of wraith. Not much is known about the Reaper, except that where he goes, death follows, and his gameplay captures that in that he wields mighty shotguns from hell. And uh, all the weapon engineering folks down in hell have a very archaic process uh, in their gun design in that uh, the weapons don't actually feature any reload mechanisms. Uh, they get around this by simply discarding any empty firearms and simply replacing them with new ones. Which is uh, undeniably an expensive process, but, you know, reaping is not a profession that comes cheap. And the folks down at Hellfire Industries gotta do what they gotta do. And so your job as the reaper is to be as efficient an assassin as you can be. So as to not waste shots and minimize future development time on your guns. So out of all the reapers, how do you go about making yourself the best and most efficient reaper at the company? First of all, you're going to have to know your guns, right? Unfortunately for you, your guns are remarkably strong. You will have eight shots before you have to throw them away and pull out some fresh ones. Now, you might think, well, eight shots? <laughs> Better make them count. Well, yes. But these are eight very, very strong shots. And I mean, most heroes, you'll be taken down with two, three shots tops. And I'm talking good, clean shots. Meat shots, if you will. Now, I've consulted the oversheet to find out all my information about damage numbers and all that. I will link it in the description because it's very, very handy and interesting to read. Lots of knowledge to be gained. And of course, we are still in closed beta, so this is all subject to change. But for now, Reaper's shotguns will fire 20 pellets per blast, and each pellet will deal 7 damage tops. This is subject to damage fall off over distance, and it'll fall down to as little as 2 per pellet. So if you are up close and you get a nice, clean shot, I mean, right in the gut, right in Roadhog's big taunting belly. You're gonna do 140 damage in one shot. And you can do that again and again and again until they finally go down, which it won't take long for the large majority of the characters in this game. You'll just see me take out Soldier over and over. If you get no close to him, he can't deal with the Reaper at that kind of range. Soldier is gonna die in two good shots or three passable shots. God help, if it takes me four shots, then fuck me, right? But he's still gonna die. And with that kind of DPS in mind, Reaper makes a magnificent tank killer. Now, armor has some noticeable effect against Reaper shotguns, given the way that armor works. However, the tanks, for the most part, don't have a ton of armor. Winston, out of his 500 health, only has 100 armor, nullifying a bit of your damage. Reinhardt has 250 armor out of his 500 health, but Reinhardt just does not combat you very well. He's not going to hammer you down before you shotgun him down. Diva is going to be the most problematic with her 400 armor and her respectable close-range damage with her fusion cannons. But then you got Zyre and Rodark, no armor between them. You eat tanks for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. Enjoy it. So how do you go about killing people without getting yourself annihilated? Well, don't do this. This is fool's play. I am nowhere near my team. I'm trying to be overzealous and taking on two people at once. Uh, don't do that. That's silly. You'll die, as I have. Remember, as much damage as you do, it only works when you're up close and personal. You need to put yourself right in the danger zone to be effective. Now, to help you with this, Reaper has a very high health pool for a damage dealer. 250 is very good, and he has his own small personal heal, which he can gain by walking through the health globes dropped by slain enemies, otherwise known as consuming a soul, healing you for 50. Now, your best kind of target is a distracted target. It's best to let your teammates go in first. Let the tanks get all the attention. Because you thrive when no one is looking at you. And you could say that goes for any damage dealer. But it especially applies to Reaper. You might teleport to an advantageous position. Wait it out if necessary. Let the fight start. And then you arrive late. Clean up and take all the glory. This is starting to sound like a famous historical event. Prioritize. Target the healers first. And then any threatening damage dealers in your range. If you've misjudged and you're in trouble, you wraith form a way to safety. Because things can always go wrong, such as a combination of deadly ultimates from the opponents. But wraith form turning you immune and giving you a little extra movement speed is a fantastic get out of jail card and lets you start again. And I must confess, I loved this moment of pure desperation. Over time, they gotta grasp the point. They'll do anything. Strategy goes out the window. Just throw yourselves at it. One by one. Well, come on then. 
You want to keep this game alive? Then very well, but we shall play the game my way and on my terms. And that concludes the tale of how Reaper had a very good day at work. Extremely fun hero. I'm sure we all know just how enjoyable it is to rock a pair of shotguns. I certainly do. Shotguns are great. They should put shotguns in Hearthstone. They should put Reaper in Hearthstone with Reaper cards. I don't know how much health this Genji had, but I can tell you it was not 200. Holy shit, he dropped like a sack of potatoes. So that'll do it, folks. That was Reaper. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now.